Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a what's in my bag. And yes, the dishes are running downstairs because I don't want to get up and stop them. So if you hear what sounds like someone pouring water into a bowl, it's just the dishes. I'm sorry that I'm a domesticated housewoman wife. I've been wanting to do this for a while because I've been seeing those videos of celebrities like, here's what's in me, Birkin. And I'm like, <laughs> I've got some up stuff in my purse, so I want to do this. The pleasing sweatshirt, please um, peep, if you will. And please peep the Juno Birch X Trixie Cosmetics palette on my eyes. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's do it. This is my bag. It's filthy, nasty, it's my travel bag. It carries like 17 gallons. I don't remember what line of, it's a coach bag. <laughs> Cause coach is back. I don't remember what line this was, but I remember seeing it and I was like, that is so ugly. I'm obsessed with it, I have to get it. None of the pockets are functional. So camp, so ugly. I like that it has these handles and they're thick wood handles as well as the shoulder straps. I love that. I love this bag. Don't look at it because it's fucking nasty. You can fit like an iPad in here. You can fit like a full water bottle. Yeah. Okay, should we get into it? Number one, water bottle. Number two, hairbrush. Ew. Ew, I'm sorry. Um, this is from Good Die Young, Haley Williams hair brand. So beautiful. Having hair extensions, they get so matted in the back, so it's nice to go to the bathroom and just like clean them, <laughs> brush. <laughs> candy. I am actually not a big candy girl, but I went to go see a movie with Emmy the other day and these have just been in my bag. Bitch, I just like candy. Speaking of which, I don't know if this is candy, but bitch, what do you know about these? What do you know about Brookside Acai Dark Chocolate? I discovered these in college and I would like reward myself when I was studying. I would have this and one of those bobbled Dunkin' Donuts coffees and I would go liquid diarrhea in the middle of studying. But it was something to like keep me going, you know, like keep my mouth occupied. Okay, next, my allergy medication. <laughs> I also have a pharmacy in my purse. Benadryl one a day. I was recently in London and I couldn't breathe. Super fun and cool. These were so cheap, so cheap in the UK. Like medication is so cheap versus here, if you were to get like prescription name brand Benadryl, that's like 17.99. What the fuck? It's Benadryl, dude. It's an antihistamine, like off. Um, these are tissues that for some reason came in a box instead of like a package, so they're crushed. I always have tissues because I'm a snotty little girl. I get hot. I get hot to have a fan. This is a, re a recent purchase. I just got this a couple days ago and boy, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> now imagine you're at like a festival. You're at like a music festival and it's hot. I usually keep like a fan with me. I gotta fix my wig. Yeah, this is my Amazon neck fan. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Hand sanitizer. Bought this at LAX. Smells like coconut and lemon. It smells pretty good for when you need a little on the go sanitization. I also travel a lot and I hate the Bath and Body Works one, so that one slays. My passport. <laughs> I always keep my passport with me because you never know if you're like crazy or you think when it goes in here. <laughs> You know what sucks is like traveling internationally now, at least in and out of the United States, they don't stamp it. Cause I have global entry. And so you just like scan your passport and it just like goes. I used to like having all the stamps. Anyway, always keep my passport with me. Also like if you lose your ID, that's a valid form of ID. Gum, I like peppermint gum. I lied, it's called winter frost. So guess I don't like peppermint. <laughs> my glasses. Some of you bitches don't know that I wear glasses. This is a Tiffany & Co case that I got when I was 13. My dad got it for me and I was like, this is the most expensive item that I own actually. And it was. I wear glasses, I can't see far away. So driving at night, I really should wear these. And I look so slay and studious and librarian in them, but I don't wear them because they're a bitch and they're annoying, but they're cute. I really can't see better with them on too. I really should wear my glasses more. I don't know why I don't. My pills. <laughs> Guess what? More Benadryl and Tylenol because I'm always in pain and I'm always sneezing. So that's really something cute and fun about me. You can hear me. <laughs> you can hear me before you see me. These cute little, guess how much these are, dude. Like in an American pharmacy, it's expensive, expensive. It's Benadryl and pain medication. Like what? This country drives me insane. Tissues. <laughs> One of the comments that are just gonna be like, bitch, are you sick? 
<laughs> like, do you have COVID? Do you want to say something? I don't. I always have allergies. My wallet. It is a lounge fly, lounge fly, Nickelodeon lounge fly, plate in Krabby Patty. Oh. That's me. Don't photocopy it and steal my identity. You will go to prison. Don't even think about it. What do I have in here? My Texas a m student ID. Definitely still try to get discounts. Definitely doesn't work. Talk about gift card. Didn't know I had that. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys this. It's kind of a thing in my family. Everyone keeps one of these in their wallets. It's a little sticky note. I'm not gonna like show it because it has personal information on it. But it basically says if anything were to happen to me and like you can't get into my iPhone, you can't get into anything. Like here's who I am. Obviously all my identification's here. Here's who to call. Please call my parents. I keep this with me because you never know. Like what if I'm in a car accident and my face is horribly mangled and now you can't, and they can't even take my dental implant because I'm like warped. Please call my parents. Really sad and morbid, but figured I'd tell you guys that because it's a good thing to have. I don't keep cash on me. I have six, seven dollars cash. So sick. Not even enough to pay for parking. Don't know why I have cash in here. Universal Studios, plastic thing. Used to keep my annual pass in here. And my Vax card. My Love on Tour, Harry Styles. A laminated Vax card. It's not laminated, it's just plastic. Oh, here's my, here's my sister. <laughs> don't know why I have, she was like, do you want one? I said, yeah, I do. That's my wallet. Next. Damn, she's flat now. That uh, guy from SpongeBob when he turns to the side. My keys. Ew, it's so dirty. Actually, don't look. Ew, it's brown. Okay. <laughs> Mickey Mouse car keys. I've had this since I started driving. Ew, now that I think about it, that's so nasty. This probably is so dirty. It is, and it is. Car keys, electric charge, specs, key card. I love to drink. House keys. This is my Tower of Terror, Disney World, Hollywood Tower of Terror. Love this. Mandalorian, Mandalorian, key ring. I love him. Yeah, these are my keys. I have to keep perfume with me because I sweat and I stink. This is the tried and true YSL Black Opium. So delicious. My tried and true. This one I just got and I'm kind of obsessed. It's Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. It's not like anything I've ever smelled. It kind of has like a, I can't even tell you. But now I just wore this when I was in London and now this smells like England to me and it doesn't smell like, I don't even know if Jo, well, it actually says Jo Malone London. <laughs> England, God save the queen babe. Make sure to keep used tissues. Gross, ew. Um, and used boarding passes. Really super essential. My AirPods, Takashi Murakami. Cute, they have earwax all over them. <laughs> Chapstick, can I not shed? And then in the little side pocket, oh, what is all this? Oh my God, this is my good luck charm. Some girl gave this to me at Coachella. She came up and she was like a little witch. She literally appeared out of my peripheral vision, came up and was like, I love you, you're so funny. Do you want this? And it's this little whale shark. I don't know, dude. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, it's your good luck charm, bye. And I went away and I said, I need to keep this with me at all times or I'm gonna die. Like I convinced myself that I'm gonna die if I ever lose this. So this is my good luck charm. Tweezers for when I am at the gas station and I have long nails on and I can't get my card out of the machine. I literally keep tweezers and I won't get my card. Not a joke. Lighter. Don't know why, I don't smoke. A couple pins. Hotel one I stole. This one is a Disney adult one. It's like Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And, and it's one of these where it's got all the different ones on top. I'm just crazy like that. And this is one of those good ones. It just writes so good. A Sharpie at all times. 17 chapsticks all the time, all different ones. This one is the best one. Medicated chapstick, so good. Experiment, not my favorite. Original, or no, this is, um, this is original, but there's also a different classic. Classic's the black one. I'll use it if I have to, it's not my favorite. Um, analog headphones <laughs> for if my AirPods die and I need to listen to music, I'm gonna have a freak out. British gum. It's not British, it's Wrigley's, but I got it in Britain. Sugar-free peppermint, bobby pins, and hair ties. That was what's in my bag. This bag doesn't have any like zippers on the outside, nothing, like it's really not practical. It's just huge and I like that it's huge. That's my life. Thank you so much for starting by. What's that Liz McGuire <laughs> clip? So that's my life. Thanks for listening. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna go now and I love you guys so much and I'm sorry that I haven't been posting. Please don't be mad at me and please don't yell at me and please don't say anything mean to me because I take it very, very personally. <laughs> so, bye.